So hi, Nikki and all the other people down at Smith's Alpha Orchard. This is uh, Mike, the virtual teacher from Ottawa. I was just there on the last weekend talking to you and you did an interview for my grade five virtual class. I mentioned I have a big apple tree in the backyard. The big as a house. See, there's the house, there's the apple tree. In fact, if you look at the very top branch of that apple tree, I think it's now, you could say it's actually a little taller than the house now, so. Or definitely at least as tall, so. It's about 25 years old, this tree. It grew from one of the apple cores I threw in the backyard and uh, it took root. I let it grow because it looked like a fruit tree and it definitely turned out to be. So it found this little tiny little bit of soil between the fence, between the asphalt here on this side and between the paving stones on this side, it was able to just get in there and grow. <laughs> and become a very large tree, apple tree. Produces hundreds of large red apples. Uh, unfortunately, being late in the year, I don't have too many examples left. I was able to find a few that are kind of rotting away here, but <clears throat> just to show the kind of size of apple, you can tell me what variety that is. You know better than I do, but of course it's, it's been on the ground for a while, it's losing its luster, so, and its definition. I don't know, it's, uh, like I said, it's a little too late now to try and, well, this one's got some speckles on it, maybe that can help you a bit. So that's our tree in our backyard, our big, big, big apple tree that produces lots of big apples. So that's, I'm just about 99.9% .9 sure it's an apple from your orchard. Because that's about the only place I've been buying apples for the last 30 years or so is your place. So there's another one, a little smaller one. Came off the tree. It's one of the last ones to fall off. So I don't think we have any left now. That big wind we had the other day kind of knocked on the last few apples that were there. And I just want to show from this perspective again the height of the tree. There we go. There's that. Yeah, so there's a sort of a descendant of your tree, of one of the trees in your place. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Anyway, that's in Ottawa. And it's near the area of Carling and Maryville. That's where I, part of Ottawa I live on. Okay, bye.